everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make homemade pork and shrimp seal mite. And these are the ingredients you're going to need to make this dish. The ingredients you will need to make these pork and shrimp seal mite are 1 half of long time wrappers, caviar, 400 grams of shrimp, 300 grams of pork belly, 300 grams of pork shoulder, quarter teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of chicken broth powder, quarter teaspoon of sea salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of sesame oil, half a teaspoon of sugar, six dry shiitake mushrooms, quarter teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of soy sauce. To get started, we're going to have to soak up our shiitake mushroom with water so they get nice and soft. And we're going to have to marinate our shrimp with sea salt and baking soda for five minutes and you'll have to thoroughly rinse them out afterwards. I've soaked the shiitake mushroom in water and we're going to wait till they get nice and soft. So we'll come back to that. And now we're going to have to marinate our deveined shrimp with a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. And this is, we're going to only use half of it, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. I'm going to save the other half for the pork. Mix it all together and then we're going to let it sit for five minutes. The next step is we're going to have to finally chop up our pork. I finished finally mincing up our pork. And the shrimp has been marinating for five minutes. We're going to have to rinse out the shrimp with cold water until it turns nice and white. We're also going to have to rinse out thoroughly our pork hair with cold water until the water runs clear. I finished thoroughly washing out the shrimp. See how they are nice white color? That's what you wanted at. And I finished thoroughly also washing our pork. And we have to ensure that they are nice and dry, so I'm going to squeeze out any excess water. After squeezing all the excess water from the pork here, the shiitake mushroom are all ready, nice and soft. I squeeze out all the water from this. The next step we're going to have to do is chop up the shrimp and the shiitake mushroom and combine everything together. To my pork here, I have to add in, this is a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. I add in half a teaspoon of cold water and mix it together. I'm going to add this to my pork. I'm going to blend them all in together. Afterwards, I'm going to transfer it into this cutting board here. I'm going to add in the shrimp, the shiitake mushrooms. After chopping them up about halfway, we're going to add in the rest of the spices. The chicken broth, white pepper, sugar, salt, Soy sauce. And the sesame oil. We're going to continue to chop them up until they kind of get to um, a sticky texture. So 
that's the texture you want it at guys you see how there's kind of my knife is kind of sticking to the meat here that means they're ready and I'll be back to show you guys how to make these so nice I'm gonna show you my way of making these I have my wrapper here I'm gonna put it right rest it in between my fingers like so I'm gonna get about a little bit over one teaspoon of yogurt. Up. If you don't put enough, it's going to be dry around here, so that's perfect. And then I just put it down here like that. There you have it. All done, I just finished making the siamai. The ingredients that I gave you guys, it's going to make you about 30, which is in one pack of the Mong Tan wrappers. And now we're ready to steam these. I have my steaming pot here and my steaming basket. You can buy these at any local Asian market, they will sell these. And I've already laid out about 15 of my pork siamai in this basket here. I'm going to cook them in two batches. If you don't want to cook them all, you can always freeze them and save them for another time. Once these are almost cooked, about the last couple of seconds, then I will top it up with the garnishing, a little bit of caviar on each. If you don't like caviar, you can also chop up carrots and lay them on top. I'm gonna to wait till my water comes to a boil and then we're going to steam these for about 20 to 25 minutes. The water's come to a boil. I'm just going to lay on this basket right on top of here because it's not going to fit all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to leave the lid off and we're going to steam these for 20 to 25 minutes. Ta-da! All done guys. My homemade pork and shrimp sail mic. Can't wait to try this. There you have it guys. My homemade pork and shrimp sail mic. Now he's going to try it for you guys. I'm going to try it. <laughs> So juicy. What about the flavor? The flavor, I could say anything. It's so good. When you put it in your mouth, it's so like tender. There's a hot sauce here. <laughs> There you have it guys, my homemade pork and shrimp seal mic. If you enjoyed this recipe and you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to our next video guys.